It's now time for Around Town on KWN Community TV Channel 7. The views and opinions on tonight's program are not necessarily those of the staff nor the management of KWN TV 7 and Dade County Broadcasting Incorporated. Now, let's go Around Town on KWN TV 7. Just kidding. <laughs> we are on. I didn't know if it was on. I was still talking and we're on. I'm telling you, I am just not even here today. I'm tired. Where are you at? <sighs> Should be in bed. <laughs> I'm t- I'm so t- we had tattoo convention this weekend. I'll help. Oh, put yeah, I've seen that. Oh, my God, we had a blast. And um, I don't know about me and the tattoos now. Well, I mean, just some numbers like numbers from last year. And, and think about this. We had about 150 artists last year. There's an ATM there because people don't know how much to bring if they're going to get worked on or what. We had more than $85,000 withdrawn. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's a lot of tattoos. It's a lot of work. But, but there's other stuff, too, people can buy there. But there's now do they little... tattoo them while they're the... Well, I guess yeah. they do tattoo them there. That's why you got the money. Yeah, I we thought have, it took uh, a long time to get a tattoo. My longest was, uh, I think, six hours. That sounds like a lot of pain for six hours to me. Unicorns do not lick them on, regardless of what some people think. <laughs> they, <laughs> I couldn't. That's way too much work. They are. not But that, that being said, though, you know, my eyeliner, my lipstick, my eyebrows, all that's tattooed. So I just get up and go in the morning. I don't even fool with nothing anymore. <laughs> hey, can't go wrong with that. <laughs> it's a time saver. But anyway... Um, some of the best folks you will ever meet are at these conventions, and the grand prize was for the best artist of the whole weekend. Walked away with a thousand dollars, a championship belt. He got get sponsored a booth for next year. This was our third one. From the time I got up Friday morning to the time I went to bed last night, which was about one o'clock last night, I had eight hours sleep. Ooh, Lord. I'd have got over in the corner and went to sleep while the tattooing was going on. And you don't stop the whole time you're there. Now, where was it? Camp Jordan. Oh, okay. We filled up the whole arena. And then right across the street was Bugapalooza, where all the Volkswagens meet, and all the proceeds from Bugapalooza go to the Ronald McDonald House. Yeah, I've heard of that, too. Well, now, back to the tattooing thing. Is it? Well, yeah, there's got to be more than one tattoo artist. We so. had over 200 there this year. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll need to get in the tattooing profession. $85,000, that's a lot of money. Well, you spread that out over, you know, 200 artists. But still, I mean, but then, like, there's a curiosity shop that was there that you can go buy stuff. And there's other little vendors that people, you know. But um, it wears you out, let me tell you. It wears you out. I think we went through, before Sunday, got, we had sold over 500 T-shirts. Oh, well. So we had, we probably had 3,000 through the door at least. I mean, you talk about hopping. I oh, am. <laughs> and when it's all done, we always get out and we go, uh, we always go get something to eat. And it's just like total silence. Everybody is so tired. You're, it's, you, That's what I was you're doing say, good to get tired. your fork to, you know, to get your fork to your mouth. It's, uh, <coughs> But it's worth it, and we are just, we're already ready for next year. I mean, we're, Mm-mm. you know, like you said, when as soon as one event's over. Oh, yeah, you have to start working on it next year. You start working on the next one, and, um, yeah, where are we going? Well, we could do this next year, and we could do this, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Believe you me, I know. I mean, it's great. We had a good, We have artists that have already signed up for Boots next year. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's fun. I mean, it's fun. And a good group of people, you won't find a better, more giving group of people a lot of you know we get people that have tattoos get classified or labeled and they should be labeled as some of the best people you've ever met because they yeah, are yeah that's like harley davidson riders they mm-hmm. get i don't think maybe so much now as they used to but they get labeled and uh some of the get most giving and most and let me tell you what some of those guys you got doctors you've got lawyers you've got all kind of politicians you got all kind of people riding harleys now 
You know what, if you ever wonder why your doctor always wore long sleeves, he might be tattooed from his wrist to his neck. You know, there's so many that are, and you just don't know. You just don't know. But there's a... Uh, Oh, if I had a good doctor, if he was a good doctor, I wouldn't care how many tattoos he had. As long as he knew how to take care of me, that'd be my only thing. <laughs> but we had a great time, and next next year, if y'all get to hear about it, you need to just check it out. Even if you are not, there's people there that aren't tattooed. There's other stuff to do there. There's side shows. We had a South Wind Bluegrass Band was there. They put on a heck of a show. We had May, uh, Captain and Maybell. And they do the whole sword swallowing, fire blowing. They do the side show. We had a girl that did a silk show every 45 minutes, and there was silks hung from the ceiling, and she did all the acrobats and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, well, that'd be fun. There's lots going on, and food galore. The guy, the barbecue vendor, ran out about halfway through Saturday, towards the end of Saturday, and he had 800 pounds of meat. Ooh. barbecued so <laughs> well the most excitement i had was saturday evening i went to northeast college out in alabama out of around rainsville to see the adams family the play the adams family and I oh i bet you, that was good it was good and i'm gonna tell you something i don't know who does their sets and all that they could compete on Broadway with their sets. They were great. And their plays. I've been going out there for years to their plays. I bet that was good. But And we used to be uh, have season tickets, or whatever you want to call them, right. at the Little Theater in Chattanooga. The only play I've ever seen was at the Little Theater. Well, and they cost about ten times more than they do out here at Rainsville at the college. And the ones at the ones at Rainsville at the college are better than the ones at the little theater. I'm telling you, they do a fantastic job. I take that back. I saw two. I saw the Monkey's Paw, and then um, the Miracle Worker. Hey, I've seen a lot of plays. I love the Miracle Worker, and I was just waiting, and because there's the girl that plays Helen Keller, you know, the girl in play you really can't see or whatever, and uh, Annie. There's a scene where Annie. Where Helen throws a, where Annie throws a pitcher of water in Helen's face, and I was just waiting to see some little girl did that before the water actually hit her in the <laughs> face, you know, because you know it's coming. <laughs> well, I, I love to go to plays. I, I enjoy them, and yeah. that that was really cute. That Adams family was really cute. Oh, I bet we took that my was. granddaughter, my eight-year-old granddaughter, and you know how Moticia or Moticia or whatever her name was in uh, the Adams family. How she walked. Yeah. Well, this one, of course, out here did too. And Braille was walking like her. How it, it was really funny. funny. She was funny. It was good. That is great. That is awesome. I would. I, that would have been good. Yeah, it was good. It was very good. You Put know, on a great show. Talent is talent, and I don't care what kind, what it is. It's talent, you know. And yeah, well, not everybody can do what other people do. Well, and, I couldn't do what they what they did out there. Memorizing the lines start with "You lose me." Yeah, I can't remember half the time what I'm supposed to be doing. I was in a play, and I had a whole. I had the longest single spoken part of the whole thing and mm, forget it so i recorded myself saying it and then i put it in my tape deck in my car and i just let it play play over and over and over yeah and that's how i learned it <laughs> i couldn't i would not be good i'd have to be one of those i'd have to be the tree that stood around or something i couldn't be a oh how talking person funny oh it, they're they're neat if you've never been to a play you got to you need to it's uh it's pretty awesome pretty awesome and I'll tell you something else I did last week, too. I went to Tivoli to see Motown. Uh-huh. Uh, Motown the Musical, it was referred to as God, called. but that was good. That was one of the best. Oh, my gosh. I went to St. Jersey Boys back sometime, and then we went to see that uh, Thursday night. Yeah, it was good. It No, Wednesday night we went and seen it. Oh, it was good. It was I've seen a lot of those kind of shows, too, and I'm telling you, that was probably one of the best I've ever seen. It was the story of Barry Gordy, who founded Motown. Yeah. They had some talent in that thing. They had oh, a kid wow. that was, you know, supposed to be Michael Jackson. He was probably, I don't know, eight years old, maybe. That kid could sing. I, I told Bobby, I said, why are these people not on Broadway? What are they doing down here at the Tivoli in Chattanooga? They, they were too good. Wow, that is awesome. Well, what's going on in Trenton besides the election? Is there anything else going on in Trenton besides the election? <laughs> I, don't know, I will tell you, we are having 1945 Dade County Fair. 
So for everyone calling and asking, Dade Days is now has now become the 1945 Dade County Fair. We chose that year. Now are you going to do a different year every year? Or no, is, no, no. That's, I was going to stick the year with it. That Dade County came back to Georgia. Oh, okay. Come back to the state. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was the day we came back to. The, that was the year we came back to the state. So it will every year be on July 4th. So this year it's a Wednesday. We are going to be closing from Fred's here from the Bank of Dade all the way down to CVS. We're going to have all the old time games. We have an old time baseball team coming to play a game, and they're just it's. They're dressed rather de- dressed out all in the old time stuff. Um, we are going to have a watermelon eating contest. We have a pie baking contest, a homemade ice cream contest, all sorts of different eating contests. Um, spitting for distance <laughs> for the older ladies and gentlemen, and watermelon seeds for the younger. For the kids, they get to do. Uh, They'll have big fun with that. The watermelon seeds. Uh, we are going to do. It's called chicken poop bingo. Oh Lord. So you know you'll have your little cage and it'll be gridded off and you pick whatever number you want and if the chicken poops in your spot first, you know you win whatever the prize is. <laughs> We're going to do a celebrity wiffle ball game, and that'll be different county officials. You know. Uh, there's just so much that's going to be going on. It's it's hard, you know. Sounds there's like a it. there's a page 1945. The number is 1945 Dade County Fair. So there's pl- there's a hairy leg contest for men only. Mm-hmm. And I and I stress the for men only part on the hairy leg <laughs> contest. I do. And then we're going to have the first ever Miss Dade County. Oh, that'll be good. And the uh, re- requirements for that is you must be 30 or older. This isn't a teeny bopper contest. This is Ms. Ms. Not M I S S. So um, now, how how are you going to do that? Or the we'll have auditions in the Civic Center, and that they'll have like a ninety-seven. They can do their little sing talent, whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, there'll be a ninety-second audition at the Civic Center, and then the winner will be announced on stage. So. Oh, well, that'll be neat. There's that a lot good. going on. Yeah. All right. Y'all'll be really busy. He's giving us the break sign. Well, we will be. Brown's Tire Pros knows that when you need tires or automotive service, you don't need a hassle. Brown's Tire Pros has been family owned and operated since 1994, and you'll always get friendly customer service and never be sold anything you don't need. We sell major brands of tires like Michelin and BF Goodrich. In fact, Michelin offers safe, fuel efficient, long lasting tires that'll keep you going for miles to come. Visit us at Brown's Tire Pros in Trenton today or online at brownstireprose.com. Bethune's Garden Center, 3530 Highway 136 West on the side of Sand Mountain for all of your gardening needs. Right now, find bedding plants starting at only $13.99 a tray. And don't forget, it's that time of year. Insects, fire ants, we've got a complete line of products to take care of all of the insects. You'll also find a complete line of fertilizer and grass seed. Bethune's Garden Center opens Sunday through Friday, closed Saturday. Brands you know from the people you can trust. Tennessee Valley Net, your local provider of fiber optic high speed internet. TV with over 200 digital channels available. And phone service with lots of extras. Fiber optics from TVN is expanding to many areas. Call and see if TVN is available in your area. 706 657 4367. Or log on at TVN.net today. Bundle and save on fiber optic high speed internet, digital TV, and phone service. All from Tennessee Valley Net. 706 657 4367. Online at TVN.net. When you or a loved one is facing a life-limiting illness, hospice care may be the answer. At Tapestry Hospice, the patient is the focus of our care. We are here to serve you and facilitate your wishes. Tapestry caregivers are concerned with managing your pain, keeping you in touch with your physician, and helping you make plans for the future. Hospice is life-affirming, and Tapestry Hospice can help you deal with all aspects of life, mind, body, and soul. Call Tapestry Hospice for more information, 706-383-8812. That's 706-383-8812. Tapestry Hospice. Redefining hope. 
A small bank with big service. Citizens Bank and Trust. Offering a wide range of services, including online banking. Pay your bills. Manage your account anytime, 24 hours a day. Your account balance is only a phone call away as well at 657-1234. Or visit our convenient locations. Lookout Mountain, Georgia. Higdon, Alabama. On our main branch on Highway 11 and Trent. Citizens Bank and Trust. 657-5678. A community bank that believes in the community. Citizens Bank and Trust. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Well, we're doing way too much talking off the scene. That's All where right. the good stuff happens. We are with Jane Dixon, <laughs> and Jane just has a limited amount of time since she's running for an office. So we're not going to chit-chat. We're going to let Jane. Jane is running for county commissioner of District 2, right? One. One. District, District one. 1. Okay, that's the north end of the county. Yes, north Wildwood. end. Wildwood. Uh-huh. Yeah, Wildwood and all this direction. Creek Road, part to look out. Yeah. Creek Road, that's which me. is underwater today. Yes. <laughs> uh, so you're running for dist- uh, for uh, county commissioner for that end. Now uh-huh. tell us tell us anything you want to tell us. Why you wanted to do this is going to be my question first. Okay. But all right. Thank you, Ann. Um, I, I don't know how many of you know. I know the people who attended are aware of it, but I don't know how much of Trenton is aware. But last week, uh, Evan and his uh, uh, radio station and television station, they sponsored an event at the library, which was for candidates to discuss and answer questions that were presented to them. And it was a very, very good uh awareness opportunity for citizens uh there were quite a few people there i was very much impressed with the number of people that showed up um so i think what i'd like to talk about a little bit ann and cheryl is something from that event plus cheryl sponsored at lunch on that day an event where that a man came from atlanta and talked to the people who were there about the tea splash mm-hmm. now the uh, for me, the disappointing thing, Cheryl, the food was delicious, the setting was great, but the disappointing thing only was there were so few people who attended to become informed. So I think that's kind of the picture that I'd like to talk about right now is because I, being a citizen, I need to t- say on the front end of the discussion that I probably am as guilty as anyone else for not taking advantage of all the opportunities that are presented for us to become knowledgeable people and that we don't just follow suit with what things are said, comments people make, but that we sincerely pursue the correct answers about things. Now, to me, this has really come forth with this tea splash because I have talked to lots of people. I get lots of different answers about subjects that I have found out are not even in tea splash. So I think I'd like to say those of you who are watching talk to your families tell people to find out accurate information and then make their decisions i think one of the most important things that we have to our advantage with t-splosh is we have the opportunity to vote right period yeah. the commission comes up with ideas that's their job yeah the commission comes up with reasons and ways and things to do to keep our community prosperous and to keep our community beautiful, to keep our roads good, and to keep our citizens safe. Well, they present their ideas. They did put this on for a referendum for a vote, and then it is our job to either support that idea or find a better and different way. The things that I am finding out that T-Splash can do, as I listened to the man that Cheryl in the chamber brought forward, were very interesting. First thing we need to know 
is every cent of the money that is raised mm -hmm. stays in Dade County. Yeah, and that's, now, that's a there, there's plus. There's rumor that 30% of that or a portion of that goes back to the state. It does no. not. No. If the horse was at the meeting and spoke, he said, <laughs> no, all of that money stays in Dade County. Now, you find me something that we do to raise an income in Dade County where that every cent of it right. stays in Dade County, then you don't run from this one. This T-splosh may be the best idea come up as far as taxation. Yeah, now, yeah. do any of us want to be taxed? That idea is no. Okay, in Boston, a long time ago, they dumped all the tea in the river because they didn't want to be taxed. How foolish, now there was no tea. Okay, so we can't run from ideas that could put a burden on us. We have to listen to them, we have to learn about them, and then we have to consciously do what I think is the power of it, is vote. Yeah. Right. Okay, the commission cannot just say, oh, well, we're going to do tea splash and you're going to pay. No, 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 no. This one we vote on, we have an opportunity. Property taxes, I'm not going to go there to talk about that because that's a whole nother ball game. <laughs> well, no, one, thing that, one thing that Seth mentioned that I think is very important, here's what I think is very important. 40% of this t plus money being where we are located is going to be paid by outsiders. It's going to be paid by people in Alabama, people in Tennessee, traveling through here, all the different states. Yeah, Cheryl, that, I mean, how can we as citizens say no to this in one Thank way? You. Because Thank listen you. a minute, this is the only, the only opportunity in taxation right now that we have that a person driving through or a person stops it's and all take that care of it for is us. going to pay it for us yeah. the, put it on my property taxes they're not going to come and help me pay mm -hmm. put it on the millage rate oh they're not going to touch that but put it on transportation put it on this transportation if we're going to want it now the commission has a lot of things that need to be done things that aren't even on anybody's list okay mm -hmm. this list idea is also driving me crazy because as I tried to talk about it the other night at the uh, debate, I found myself in total confusion. And I wanted to apologize in a sense for the, any confusion that I gave or other people in the room gave as far as the other candidates. Now, there were a lot of things that they said. One was, we've already voted on it and we don't want to vote on it again. Hang on, folks. That first election was such a small representation of the county, I would hate to think we would not we would deny ourselves another opportunity to get more people to vote. So this will give more people, but I have to take the opportunity to say, it's not real exciting the total number of people in our community that come out to vote at all. No, no. Compared to the number of people who are eligible Com to and, vote. Well, and compared to the number of people that complain. And the number of people that complain about things. Yeah. People need to vote their opinion and shut their mouth and vote their opinion. I say that for me, too. I, oh, found, I, I agree. Oh, I found myself in that situation. I needed to be quiet. I needed to listen. And I needed to put this in the big picture instead of my small right. little thing right. and think about the future. And yep. another thing that I, th I think is important that people understand about this is that this is going to free up the money in the regular SPLOST that is put aside for transportation, which don't quote me, but I think it's 280000 or 680000 that is set aside for transportation in a regular SPLOST that is going to be able to put on other things and because sure, we will have a uh, budget yes, for this. Yes, budgeting is so uh, confusing to people who don't have to do it every day, meaning us, okay? And what is so hard to do in government is to find creative ways to budget because it either comes in or goes out yep. and you don't have a lot of way to, to, to maneuver it. This T-splosh and splosh gives you ways to maneuver how to supplement what you already have in your budget because within your budget you have so few items. Look, if after this rain, but this morning I walked out, one of my trees is almost totally mm. on the ground. Why? Because of the ground and the roots and the shallowness. It was so dry, then it's so wet, and now they're falling over. Burkhalter's Gap will probably fall over tonight. You know, who knows? That corner, yep. Yeah, you know, my the whole street of Creek Road around through there is just flooded, flooded, flooded. All right? So you can't plan for all of these things. There's no way we can pay enough general taxes to pay for the things that need to be done. Now, the question's going to be, what am I for? What do I think about it? I don't really think that's the issue right now. 
I think the issue right now is what do you think about it? My one vote's not going to change one thing or make it or break it. But you know what? The cluster effect of people finding out right information. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I, I just looked this up again because I found this the other night. On the website, Dade County, Georgia government. There is an excellent, that run around the top of it where it says Georgia, County, Dade County, Georgia. There's a whole section at the very end that says T splashed. Look at it. Pull it up and read it. And right here it says Dade County voters will be asked to approve a 1% T splash on the May 22nd ballot. If approved, the 1% tax will be added to all tax sales in Dade County for five years beginning October 1 and will generate an expected $7.75 million. Now, that's, that's iffy, okay? And will generate that, that money to benefit residents of the county. The county commissioners have determined that the additional tax is in the best interest of all residents of the county. Now, I'm going to go back to the thing I said the other night. We have to start having trust in those people. The county commissioners have determined. We have to trust that they did the research and they found out what is really right now an additional tax is in the best interest of all residents. Now, Ann and Cheryl and I have volunteered that if this tax passes, we will stand down on the corner of the interstates down there and we will <laughs> hold banners and say, please come in here at McDonald's, stop in here at Hardy's, buy our gas, go in our gas stations, raise our South Tex. Ingalls has got a big sale on strawberries, stop here. You know, we'll do everything we can. We'll even block the interstate with our car crash to make sure that people will stop and try to raise our sales tax so that we will get this well, $7.5 million. And when they light our inter our interstates are fixing to be light, our exit ramp entrance ramps are fixing to be lit. That's going to be huge. That's going to let more people. All right, now over. we just got two minutes left, Cody. Okay. Said Jane, tell them why they need to vote for you. Well, uh, because I, if you just heard me say, I'm willing to relook at something. I'm willing to study what I need to know. I said the other night, I'm a quick study. I don't know everything there is to know of how to be a good commissioner yet, because I am not one. But I can guarantee you, if you vote for me, I will do just as I have done today. I will research things. I will ask questions. I will try to answer for you anything that I can. I understand that there, there are people in our county who don't have a lot. They don't have a lot of money. They don't have a lot of resources. And they need us to be conservative in our expenditures. But we cannot stop progress and we have to yeah. find a way to pay for it yeah. just like our courthouse just like that's our history how could anyone say we don't want to pay for that we don't yeah. want to have that uh, the other night i listened to some of the commissioners talk about reasons not to do things not to do this not to do that please know i need to be a person who says let's do everything we can that we can pay for yeah and let me tell you what, Jane, that is that is we need to look in the future. We quit, need to quit worrying about we are Start just going to do this today. Start worrying about your grandkids and your great-grandkids. Well, anything you know? that you could do for me is neither here nor there. Ten. Uh, because the simple fact is uh, my years are behind me mainly. But I've got some grandkids, and I've got some that will be living here. I want them to have a, a good place to live. Well, Jane, right. we thank appreciate you. you coming out. Thank you so much. And, I just uh, appreciate letting me talk about this. Yeah. And, and May please, 22nd. May 22nd. Tell your family. Tell your kids. Let's see if we can have this to be a big turnout and let some people come and vote. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gigabit Internet Residential Service is now available to customers of the North Alabama Electric Co-op with NAEC Fiber in Jackson and Marshall County. Residential gig service is now available for only $79.95. Call today to have your gig service installed at 256-437-5000. High-speed fiber residential gig internet service now available to customers of the North Alabama Electric Co-op with NAEC Fiber. Business and commercial customers can get gig service too. Call for pricing 256-437-5000. Gig service from North Alabama Electric Co-op. 256-437-5000. Methamphetamine affects everyone, your neighbors, your friends, and even your family. Know the signs. Physical symptoms include you may have extreme difficulty sleeping and even insomnia, and you may lose your appetite. Know the signs. Please know the signs. You can seem nervous and anxious and even have paranoia. Know the signs. Overheat easily and sweat without even being hot. Know the signs. Dilated pupils and even hair loss. Know the signs. 
hallucinations, and delusions. And you can also have tachycardia, which is a rapid heart rate. Know the signs. You may have liver damage and loss of skin elasticity. Know the signs. You may notice unexplained financial instability and social isolation. Know the signs. You may have a false sense of euphoria coupled with a strong depression and even risky behavior, legal trouble, memory loss, and repeated incarceration. Please know the signs. Unfortunately, we do. Check out these red-hot buys for April at Case Ace Hardware, 11665 South Main Street in Trenton. Ace Lawn Fertilizer covers 5,000 square feet with your Ace Rewards card, just $1,199. And how about Ace Weed and Feed? Also covers 5,000 square feet with that Ace Reward card, just $1,499. And super prices on Clark and Kensington Paints in the paint studio. Ace is the place that the Case Ace Hardware, 11665 South Main Street in Trenton. At Gross Furniture in Trenton, Georgia, you get the savings, the selection, and the satisfaction of getting the furniture you deserve at the prices you want. Come in, relax, and take your time. Our staff can assist you with the entire process, from expert advice to professional delivery. That's because Gross Furniture is local and treats you with honesty. Just north of the Courthouse Square on Highway 11 in Trenton. Gross Furniture, the home furnishing store that offers you more. We're back with Evan Stone, a stranger around here. Yeah, most, right. most days. Yeah, you are. Most days I'm not even here when y'all do the show. I know. But <laughs> I, I he's just, here today, and we had him come on because he told us about something that I didn't know about, which I didn't know there's anything I didn't know about. <laughs> Obviously, there well, is. It's the, it's the name of the magazine doesn't have, you know, Trenton on it. You probably, it's okay. Well, okay then. You know. But it's about it's far and about me. So well, you're a baby boomer, right? Yeah, unfortunately. We just want to talk a little bit about the uh, brand new magazine that is uh, going to be uh, going to be out and about in the Chattanooga area, and it's going to be available here in in Dade County because uh, Guthrie's is one of the places you can get the magazine. There'll be other places, but uh, Chattanooga Boomer Life. It's for and about baby boomers. It's a brand new magazine. It'll be published four times a year. Now, what and, years uh, are baby boomers? Well, you don't hit them, Cheryl. They give you a uh, <laughs> they give you a <laughs> they give you a curve. I think it's like give or take two or three years from 1945 to 1965. Oh yeah, that's not me. You know, so you could be 1942 to 1967 when you were born. Don't be pointing you know, your finger over well, here I'm when just, you say 1942. <laughs> I didn't say. I nothing. missed that year. I didn't say anything. But uh, so, I mean, you know, it's up for discussion on what year. Basically, I, I've been telling folks it's really about anybody who's 50 and older. And where you is know. Jerry Lee Lewis? You know, Jerry Lee Lewis is a staple for that era. You can't have. Now, that's, that's the 50s. We're talking 60s and 70s. Okay. Well. He was there. Okay, we we're not even talking about that yet. We're talking about the magazine. But I was, you know. <laughs> well, Chattanooga Boomer Live uh, in the uh, in the first edition is uh, is featuring the new Songbirds Museum mm -hmm. in uh, in Chattanooga. If you haven't been, you need to go there. Yes, uh, it's you really do. a must must see. It is amazing. And when I went, there was a young, there was a kid, Evan. He was a kid. He was, I think, fourteen. And his grandparents, he was on spring break, had brought him up from Atlanta just to come to that. He plays a guitar, and he was very knowledgeable about some of them. But his grandparents had brought him up there just to see that. You know, I, I learned, and you probably did too, when you when you toured Songbirds, you, you learned so much about the guitar. The uh, the, uh, the original guitar was named the Broadcaster. Yeah. Oh yeah. And there was already a drum set that had been named the Broadcaster. So the manufacturers, but you know why they named it the Broadcaster, don't you? Yeah, he told us, but I because don't... that's how people got to hear the guitar music it was being broadcast, broadcast on the radio. 
and uh, but the drum set had already been named the broadcaster, so they changed it. They had to change it, so they changed it to the Telecaster. Telecaster is the name of the electronic guitar, and uh, because that's where you could see the guitar, it was on television. Right. You know, for the different different folks. It's really, really, uh, uh, really a great. Uh, Museum, it's a. I'm gonna tell it's you, really a treasure to be able to see it. It's but a treasure that it is here. It is, and you would be if you don't go, you'd be disappointed. If you went and thought you didn't want to go, you'd be so happy that you went because it is, it's amazing. Oh, I agree. And the things that they tell that the, that the little guy told us was even more amazing. Well, those who are around Dade County, if you want to go by Guthrie's and pick up a copy, this is free. They'll give it to you. Chattanooga Boomer Life Magazine. It's got a uh, really a four-page article or four-page spread on songbirds in Chattanooga. And you'll get some money-saving coupons from Guthrie's. Yeah, and, I just run across them. Yep, yeah, yeah, and uh, they've got uh, it's got uh, different uh, different things that, that uh, folks, baby boomers, and some younger. I mean, obviously, this gentleman was. Oh uh, yeah, 15 this kid years was old. fourteen years old, and his grandparents brought him up there for spring break because that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to come here. And I bought me a T-shirt that I love, by the way. So it had, it had something with the Beatles on it. <laughs> no, it didn't have the Beatles on it. It had so, it got little songbirds on it, and then it's got the the thing on the their trademark there on the back. Oh, right. I like it. It's uh, it, it is really really neat. So pick up a copy of Chattanooga Boomer Life. Also, not only there's several other articles in there. But uh, one of the things that you'll find in here is the uh, article that uh, introduces WFLI as, as of this week, uh, we are now playing the music of the 60s and 70s. And that's, that is the reason... That is the reason that Jerry Lee is not in there because he was basically rock and roll in the late fifties. I'm I'm going to argue now okay. because and in 1972 he, he went number one with, with Chantilly a, Lace with a country song. But it, it but it was happy. <laughs> it was, was happy. It was a good song. <laughs> Who originally done Chantilly Lace? Um, that black guy. No. You know, you know. Uh, the original uh, Big Bopper. Big Bopper. Wow. Yeah, and he passed away on the in a day, plane crash. The day the music died. Right, he was Richie Valens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Buddy Holly was he? In? No, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I don't. And we do the radio show every morning, and it has been brought to everyone's attention. I don't own a radio. Oh, good lord! I couldn't <laughs> live without a radio. <laughs> Well, you, you definitely didn't grow up in the sixties. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't think they. I don't know what they own up in uh, in Birchwood. Birchwood. But you know, when you live with live music in your house, oh, oh, you dear. don't need a radio. Okay, this was my life as a teenager. WFLI all day, all day. I think. I think it pretty much was everybody. I, I know you, and you and I grew up at different eras. In the you in the sixties, me in the seventies. But we both grew up listening to Fly. Oh, WFLI? I mean, WFLI was the station for, for 20 years. You got years. up in the morning, and if your radio still wasn't on from the night before, you turned it on WFLI. But now this is the kicker. All day long, we listened to WFLI out of Chattanooga. At, At about night, dark, you probably listened to WLS out of, out of Chicago. Chicago. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We would switch it over the minute WFLI faded out. WLS out of Chicago. Yep. And I wish I could remember some of those DJs up there now. Larry Lujak uh, was on there. Uh, you had, uh, uh, well, I'll think of some. Well, and I'm telling you, but now the the DJ you, are you at talking WFLI. About WLS? Yeah, I talking oh, about WLS. Oh, but the DJ at WFLI, Tommy Jett. Yeah, Tommy Jett, uh, John Eagle was there, Mike Murray was on in the mornings, uh, Dale Anthony. Oh, I remember uh, Dale Anthony. Uh, Rick uh, uh, Govan, the music man, uh, was on. Gene but Lovin. Tommy Jett seemed to have the, the knack for catching everybody. <laughs> Tommy's just a good guy. And, yes, he is uh, still around for those of you who are worried. But, uh, you know, Tommy, uh, I talk to him, you know, sometimes a couple of times a month he'll call. But uh, he don't. He gets out on occasion, but uh, you don't see him a lot around anymore. Well, Tommy he still Jett, does his on. Uh, he's got an online show that he does. Every, he, uh, every Tommy Jett has got to be pretty old. I don't. I I can't remember exactly how old. Uh, he's kind of like uh, Dick Clark. He'll always in your mind be a, a young guy. 
Johnny Eagle, I just had lunch with him the other day. Uh, he was the general manager. He kind of kept the chaos together. <laughs> you know, it was on the air for, for some time, too. But anyway, we're excited about Fly coming back to play music of the, of the 60s and 70s. We're calling it uh, Welcome Home to the Big Jet Fly. And uh, you can, uh, of course, pick it up now. We're back then, you could only use a radio to pick it up. But mm-hmm. now, uh, not only it's on 1070, it covers four states and 66 counties with that booming 50,000 watt uh, station during the day. You know what this is here? This is the transistor radio of the day. No, because, it's not even. Yeah, well, it is. I remember I, what the transistor looked like. I know, but see, yeah, I know what you're is, saying. This is it because I can listen to fly anywhere right, in the world right. on this. Yeah, you know, so I can listen. This is the transistor radio of today. He's 77. Oh. She done looked it up. She done I googled it. She done Google. figured out we something. We could call Tommy if you want to. <laughs> have him have him talk a while. <laughs> yeah, Evan. And now that was another thing. Now we had a radio in the house, mm-hmm. and then when the transistor radios come in, I remember my brother got one when they first come out for Christmas, one year. Well, you know who took that over? You did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because like he wasn't like listening to the radio all the time. Me and my friend listened to it all the time. That was our life. And we, his had a little air thing you could put in your ear. Right. So we walked around with our transistors just thinking we was too cute. <laughs> well, there's a lot of, lot of folks out there. A uh, lot of folks out there would have done the same thing. Oh, they was playing. Everybody that age did. And I'm then, just going to pull up and see what song they're playing. They're actually in a commercial break. Um. But yeah, WFLI for ever everybody in this area that was my age anyway. That was the radio station. And well, it's back on the air playing the music that you grew up with. A lot of Beatles were playing the full Beatles catalog, Elvis. I mean, a lot of stuff in the '60s and '70s. Uh, Fly changed to from top forty radio to country in September of 1980. So we're not playing anything newer than September of 1980. And yes, we are playing just a few things out of the fifties, like rock around the clock, and a few things like and some that. Jerry but, Lee Lewis. Yeah, well, well, you know, you know, if I'd a whole been, lot of shaking going on is probably in there. Well, like I told Mike, <laughs> if I'd been born back then, it'd have been Jerry Lee Lewis and Cheryl Lee Lewis, because <laughs> that's my middle name too. It would have been a whole different world. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't have had eight wives. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. Well, I was supposed to marry John Lennon, but something went wrong. <laughs> what there. did we do? I don't know. I don't. I was marrying John Lennon, and my best friend was marrying Paul McCartney. Well, I'll deal with Jerry. Somehow, so. somehow we. That I knew a Beatle had a, was in there somewhere. Oh, absolutely. She's just obsessed with the Beatles. Yeah, I could have never had anything to do with Buddy Holly because he had them little, you know. Buddy he Holly. Was, he had the crickets. She's mm. afraid of the Buddy crickets. Buddy Holly was pro. If Buddy Holly had lived, he would probably be. Well, if not probably, he would have been one of the most. Ta- he was one of the most talented right. singers, songwriter. Buddy Holly was. He would have to rename Great. his band before I'd have. Any well, he with finally him. left the Crickets, and he was, well, he was on his own when he got killed. Right. The crickets was no longer with him. Right. Right. You know why he named them the Crickets? Yeah. They I was do. doing a song, and there was a cricket in the garage that they was doing the song in, and yeah, it added to the music. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. Well, I, 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 I was trying to. Uh, I know you let's was. see. Is it, uh, I, I hear it's still know, a commercial break. Is it still commercial? I know that you was uh, thrilled to get this radio station. You know, it, it, had it, you been watching to see if it's going to sell it? I had or? no idea. I, I had no idea that it was going to come up for sale. Matter of fact, I, I, I'll tell you, you can go back and figure out where you was at. Not that it really makes any difference in the hill of beans. But I was driving down. We we had eight in Fort Oglethorpe, and I came down 193, coming back, and I was going to take 136 back over to Dade County. And my phone rang. It was David Carroll. <laughs> and David uh, David said, Evan, uh, uh, Yingwa uh, Benz, uh, Miss Benz, is going to sell or going to shut off the radio stations, what, she, what he said. He said, she's going to shut it down. And, I, you know, I said, I hadn't heard that. And he said, you ought to go talk with her, you know. And uh, I, I hadn't even thought anything about it, you know, nothing. I didn't even know that she was going to retire, which which she did. And she said, she's going to cut the radio station off. You need to call her. Well, I didn't really think I talked to David a little while. I was, was driving back and didn't think that much more about it other than the fact that I hate to see it go. Oh, it, yeah. It's such a intricate part of, of the heritage in Chattanooga. 
Well, the next morning, I got off the air, and my phone rang again, and it was Earl Friedenberg. He said, Evan, <laughs> he wants to sell yeah, I know the, Earl. Or, or cutting the, yeah. oh, okay, uh, it, it's going to shut the station off, and you need to go talk with her. And I'm thinking now, if David Carroll calls and Earl Friedenberg calls. I need to go I, talk to her. Maybe I need to go. I mean, that's right. kind of the way it happened. It really was. And uh, just a, a few few weeks later, she did sign the station off, but we were able to uh, to uh, to make a deal, and we got Revive a lot of uh, we got a lot of things that's going on about a fly. That's a, a lot of things that's got to be happening. Not only is the station on the air, and I do want to before y'all go to a break and run me off. The, uh, the they say that you know you can get it online at wflionline.com. You can download the app. It's free, WFLI. Okay, uh, somebody's going to be downloading it, that for me when it, we get off the in the air. In the app, and uh, you can play it. It's free in the, uh, it's free in the, uh, in, the, uh, in, the uh, in the app store. Is that the bottom? Yeah. That is uh, Dr. Hook playing there now. So, anyway, I just thought I'd uh, yeah. put that on. But... Uh, so it's it's available online. It's available in in your app store. All of these voice activated devices like Siri and and um, um, Alexa, Alexa, and my Google at home, and all of these home voice activated devices. You do, all you got to do is go in there and say whatever the name is. Play WFLI from TuneIn, and it'll be in your house. This is so funny. You if don't even you... have to turn the radio on anymore. You don't have to turn the radio on. As a matter of fact, we won't get into this. Go try to find a new radio now. So I do have a radio then, because I have Alexa. Then you have... What are you talking about? You can't buy a radio now? A lot of them are coming with voice-activated Alexas built into them. You can get, like, alarm clocks and stuff. But your normal... Remember the stereos that you used to buy with the record player and the cassettes yeah, and all that? Yeah, you can't find yeah. those anymore. They don't make them. Yeah, you say, Alexa, set an alarm for 2 o'clock, and she'll wake you up at 2 o'clock. Do y'all know? I'll never figure out how to work that stuff. Okay. No, just, no, wait a minute, Ian. No, wait a minute. There's a lot of folks out there going, yeah, you can, because all you got to do is talk to it. All you got to do is say, hey. <laughs> all you got to do is well, say, somebody's hey, going to have to set yeah. it up for me. Yeah. Yeah. Alexa, don't normally talk back, but I can see yours asking Bobby to please don't leave him alone. <laughs> could you Could you please <laughs> don't leave take me, me with you or leave, take, send her somewhere? But uh, a couple more things that I want to say. In the uh, Chattanooga Boomer Life, there's Cody's a two-page two article <laughs> about WFLI. And yes, it's got a picture of Tommy Jeff. I know. I was looking at that. I and cannot wait to get home and read it. We are in the process of putting together. We've got a committee, and we're going to be opening up a museum at the studio. I know. I heard that. WFLI Museum. And then after that, we're also going to be, uh, well, we've already formed it, uh, the national top 40 hall of fame for all the dish jockeys across the country will be in Chattanooga, Tennessee at the studios at WFLI. Evan, I can't wait to get all this done. How long is it going to be? You know, uh, well, the, the station's already made the music switch uh, as of this week, so you can no, listen. No, I want to know when it's going to be a museum and I can come and up there. And we're looking hopefully sometime in June or maybe the latter part of June for the museum opening. Uh, and we'll be talking. We'll be talking about that, and then the National Top Forty Hall of Fame uh, will uh, will probably come. You know, I I don't really know. We haven't got a date or whatever, but probably sometime this fall or. or I can't next wait. Year. Hey, I went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now I'm gonna get to go to the Jet Fly Hall of Fame. Well, it'll be the uh, National Top Forty Hall of Fame, but the uh, museum part will be the WFLI Museum and. And uh, we, one, one of the slogans we got, come see where the magic was made. Hey, and the magic was made there. <laughs> and and the magic carried over lots of places, let me promise you. Chattanooga Boomer Life magazine is available in the Dade County area. Uh, you can go by and get a copy at Guthrie's with some money came, uh, saving coupons. Right, you got a $5 off family pack and a free drink with a signature plate box. But Can't it's, go uh, wrong. But it's also available all Chattanooga area got three's got to be several other locations. You can uh, you can uh, you can pick it up around Chattanooga. So and oh let me tell you this. The first thousand that go through Cornbread Alley this weekend don't get a copy. Oh so National Cornbread Festival coming up this weekend. So yes, smart move, is. Evan. Get smart move. For them, so. Evan's going to get in some good chocolate deal. cornbread. Oh, that's some of the No, that best can't stuff. be good. That's oh, nasty. Oh, it's great stuff. Chocolate really cornbread. Good. That's right. it. it sounds nasty. Evan, thank you so much well, for you're coming sure out welcome. here. I'm, just, I'm glad that I was here. Since this with, is with your, your TV stuff. station, but 
And and I'm going to tell you, I can only back up what Evan said. Go up to Songbirds and go through that, that museum. It is it will definitely be worth the trip. It is great. All right. Absolutely. It is really, really good. And it does have some uh, local uh, uh, local favor, uh, flavor because the gentleman that's running it uh, is Johnny Smith. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, well, yeah, uh, David Smith. I mean, obviously, that uh, and had the Trent Ministry Center. He's actually the one that runs that. So it's David's brother, Johnny. Yeah. So. Songbirds. Need to go. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Evan. You're certainly welcome. And we'll be right back. And long back. live the uh, big jet fly. Oh, yeah. I go along <laughs> Download with that. the app. Go to your app store, WFLI. It'll come up, download it, and you can listen and uh, be a part. And we probably went to, um, you know, to. Well, when we get off air, you can download it for me. I'll so. do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, she can. Uh, Somebody's going to have to do it. Do what? Somebody will have to do it. You know I well, can't. The association, Wendy. Right. That's a good song. That's a good song. Anyway. All right. We'll be right. right back. Attention outdoor cooking fans. The Appliance and Outdoor Equipment Showroom at the Upper Sand Mountain Gas District is a gold dealer of Big Green Egg products. The Big Green Egg is miles ahead of anything else. State-of-the-art ceramics, a wide range of easily adjusted cooking temperatures, a stainless steel cooking grid, and a permanent porcelain glaze to preserve that signature green color. It's a grill, it's an oven, it's even a smoker. The most versatile cooking device ever, truly the ultimate cooking experience. The Appliance and Outdoor Equipment Showroom at the Upper Sand Mountain Gas District is the largest supplier of big green egg products between Memphis and Atlanta, carrying a complete line of products including rubs and sauces. Free 60 day layaway with 10% down, plus 90 days same as cash and financing available. See us today on Sand Mountain, take I 59 south to the Hammondville exit, ride on Highway 117 to 21620, Highway 117 at Eider, or call 256 632 6815 to learn about the appliance and outdoor equipment showroom at the Upper Sand Mountain Gas District. At Comfort Gallery at Kimball, comfort is the key. And the key to making it easier to sleep, sit, and stand is a new power lift chair from Catnapper. Catnapper's power lift chairs feature comfort cool seating for long lasting comfort and a powerful yet smooth, quiet motor. Some models even include heat and massage. It's really comfort at the touch of a button. See the full selection today when you visit Comfort Gallery. Free delivery and setup, one year free layaway, and six and 12 months, same as cash, available at Comfort Gallery. 780 Main Street, one mile north of I 24, exit 152A, Kimball, Tennessee. Come hungry and leave satisfied at Cloud's Pizza Highway 71 in Higdon. Cloud's Pizza uses only the freshest ingredients, and we hand toss our own pizza dough. Our pizzas are made from scratch when you order, so they're always fresh. And don't forget about our famous Sand Mountain Cheese Sticks. You can eat from the Daily Buffet or try a mouth-watering hamburger or cheeseburger. Come see your friends at Cloud's Pizza Highway 71 in Higdon and never leave hungry. Call ahead at 597-3100 for Cloud's Pizza. Visit us on Facebook at Cloud's Pizza and more. Come see us at Cloud's Pizza. The Dade County School System continues to put the safety of students first. That's why the Love the Bus Elementary campaign rolls on. Love the Bus is designed to teach students the importance of safety, respect, and proper bus etiquette as we continue to enhance efforts of safety for our students. We'd like to have you as part of our team. If you're considering a career as a bus driver, call the Dade County Schools Transportation Department at 706-657-7053 today. Part-time hours with full-time benefits as a bus driver for the Dade County School System. All right. All right, we're back. We're back. Yes, we're we back. are. So and I, I'm so excited. I've got my I'm app. You, and I, yeah, we got it downloaded that quick, folks. That's how long it takes. It was like two seconds. I would have never figured that out. I'd be at home like, now, where did he say go to to get this? I yeah. know people don't believe that, but I really, I, I don't, that Facebook thing and all that stuff. Mm -mm. So tell the people about your little makeup case babies. Oh. My little because that was, they are adorable. Well, they are getting so cute. If you Now, we do have a Facebook page that I don't keep up, but Trisha Kenimer does there. 
my second half. Can you tell what they are yet or what they might be part uh, of? They're going to have some chihuahua in them, I know. But uh, there's a white one and there's a white and brown one. Trisha's had them since they... And how little were they when they got found? Tell, that's what well, I'm talking about. Well, if you about. know what an Estee Lauder makeup bag, if you buy something from Estee Lauder, they give you a free makeup bag. A makeup bag is what? About like that? Yeah. And about like that with about a zipper. Like yeah, with a little zipper. Well, those two babies was in that makeup bag zipped up and somebody threw them out of the car mm -hmm. uh, and a lady was walking and she saw the makeup bag move and went over and picked it up her i think her and her little girl or her daughter and uh unzipped it and she thought there was probably going to be a kitten in there and it was those two little puppies so she took them down to the fort Payne shelter and turned them in there and they were probably about a couple of days old maybe somebody i'm sorry somebody needs and shot um anyway so leslie called trisha and said hey somebody told what happened and trisha went down there and got them and we didn't know if that was going to live or not and the funny thing about it is when puppies or kittens are born they the most important thing is they stay close to their mom to stay warm they mm -hmm. have to stay warm and these little things, of course, was cold. Yeah. And when Trisha got them home, she put them a heat ball, a uh, heating bottle, and a heating pad. And those little guys, the hotter it was, the better they liked it. And Trisha uses a sponge, a makeup sponge, to put the formula on when they're like I that small. I saw that. Yes. And they and suck they the suck milk it. out of it. Yeah. yeah. And and she just keeps putting the milk on. And now they're on bottles, and both of the uh, both eyes are open now. One one eye opened on both of them, and the other one was a couple of days behind. But anyway, both their little eyes are open. They're wiggling around really good, and they are so cute. How can somebody put puppies in, a, puppies bag in a bag and, and throw and them out a window? Them. Yeah, one of them had a little. One of them when. When they got to the shelter, the side of its little face was swollen a little bit from... It was probably the one that it hit, hit the road. Yeah. I don't know, Cheryl. You know, I, I hope those, I hope they pee in the bed. Uh, let me tell you what. It takes a special kind of person to do what Trisha and I do. And I'm not patting myself on the back by no means. But what we do is sometimes heartbreaking and, and a lot of rewards like in this you know my friend jerry rescues possums i know i've seen it on facebook now is that not the sweetest thing you've ever <laughs> they, they, it's seen? funny they really that are it's funny they and he had one the other day that um had been hit by a car somebody saw it and they got out and she had a bunch of babies in her pouch and they were they call them pinkies because they had no hair they were still just pink little um the mama eventually passed away because of it broke her jaw. It just mm -hmm. really hurt her. But the babies, another mama took them in. Oh. And they were able to get in the pouch with that mama and... Survive. Oh, and now they're about this big. And they are the cutest. And y'all, don't kill possums. If you don't have, you know, if you don't accidentally hit them with your car, they eat thousand, ten thousand ticks per possum a summer. Now, oh, well, I need to put some possums over on my hill. <laughs> Believe me, they are so good for the environment. They uh, are the only animal that it's not in, that snakes can't hurt them. If they bite them, it ain't, it, it won't hurt them. Really? Yeah. They're they're so amazing, and I somebody showed a picture, and it's a mama walking around, and she's got like eight baby possums on her back, and oh she just gosh. takes them wherever they need to go, and you know people that do that, and like you said, Jerry will get up at three o'clock in the morning and go pick up a possum. Yeah, yeah. Well, what we I do it because I want to, and I I love it. I love what I do. It's rewarding. It is rewarding. Believe you me, it's heartbreaking sometimes. But and and Trisha Kenimer is a saint among saints. She is. I don't know what I'd do if the day she walked into my life was the best day for me and animals. It takes a special person. Oh, Trisha's, Trisha's a special person, but I got news for you. There's also a special place for those that throw them little puppies out. And That's what I said. Got, I hope they pee in the bed. I got no sympathy for them people. All right, Cody's giving us a sign. We got to go. Have we'll a good see one. you next week.
You've been watching Around Town on KWN Community TV Channel 7. The views and opinions on tonight's program are not necessarily those of staff nor the management of KWN Community TV Channel 7 and Dade County Broadcasting Incorporated. Join us every week for another edition of Around Town on KWN TV 7.